frustrating for hitters because you'll see them ground out weakly on a pitch they look like they're going to kill. But that late movement, that's what makes them so special. High fly ball into left. Off the bat of Turner. At the wall, it's gone. Turner makes it 3-1 to one Dodgers in game one. Turner runs around the bases, and the Dodgers take a 3-1 to one lead. The postseason heroics of Justin Turner continue. Michael tried to come inside, and Justin Turner indeed made him pay the price. I didn't know if it was going to be a home run or not, but um, I knew I backspun it pretty good, and uh, I knew I hit it really high, and I knew it was about 98 degrees. So uh, when it's that hot here, uh, the ball does travel a lot better, and I think I said just said it outside. If it's 10 degrees cooler, that's probably a routine fly ball to left field. You know, my first two at-bats, I, I was swinging a, a little bit bigger bat, a 34 and a half, and uh, I got beat in a couple times. and. Uh, I said, you know what, I'm going to go and switch back to my 33 and a half that I normally use, a little smaller bat. And good thing I did because uh, I didn't get beat in the third time. This guy, I mean, you know, all-time records for RBI. I mean, I, I, I mean, I know that I've seen things and, and just watching from the other side. And he just comes up with big hits, uh, not only in the regular season, but the postseason especially. And um, the on-base, the, the OPS, all those things, the home runs, those big hits, it, it's hard to explain, but I know that he's that guy that you want in those big spots, and he doesn't scare off. And from the very beginning of this game, you could see him. He'd never seen Kyle before, so he wanted to kind of see what he had. He took the pitches. He wanted to see how the ball looked out of his hand. He wanted to see whether there was any deception or not. So now this is the first at bat. He saw ball away, ball in. Then he got to see the breaking ball. So this is three pitches in. He hasn't moved the bat off his shoulder. The fourth pitch, got a little cutter down and in. They were okay. Now he's trying to stay alive. Now he's seen the ball up in the zone. So now this is the first at bat, and he's seeing almost everything that you want to see from a pitcher. That's the fastball away. Then that's another fastball up. So now he's got a pretty good idea of what the ball looks like coming out of a Dallas Cockrell's hand. And here in the fourth inning, another seat of a little cut up in the zone. So he's seeing that. And this is all about trying to learn whether there's deception, what the ball looks like, whether you're going to pick up any type of key coming out of the pitcher's hand because you've never seen him before. He got some pop up there. But now we've seen a lot of pitches from this guy. And he just missed that he one. He wanted that one. It was right on the barrel, but he didn't get it. And now it plays in to the third at bat. He's seen everything. So now nothing, he has nothing to surprise me with. Nothing that I haven't seen. Now when I see his delivery, I know whether it's something I want to hunt on or not. And he got the benefit of a call right there, Kyle did on that low pitch. But Justin Turner didn't let him affect him. He'd seen that cutter up in the zone before, and his hand path is so good that he kept it going straight. He didn't even hit that ball on the barrel as well as he could have, but it was such a good swing, such a good bat path that he got the big home run right there, Scott.